This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Today's a really great day for Helix, HX Stomp, Helix Native, HX Effects, and even now the HX1, if you've got one of them, I don't think they're out yet. Um, because we've basically got some things that Helix users have been asking for for ages. We've got headline, a stock Marshall JCM 2203, I think that's a 50 watt, but it doesn't have the bright caps removed or anything. So if you're looking for authentic Marshall JCM tones, there's now an option for that in the Helix. There's the Nobel's um, ODR. I know people have been waiting that for ages as well. Uh, so that's like the Nashville kind of famous overdrive. There's a bunch of other new amps. Basically all of the amps from the Line 6 Catalyst have come across. There's also one really key thing that I've seen loads of people kind of talk about. A feedbacker effect, sort of similar to the Digitech Freakout. So that's great news. There's um, a new orange bass amp. There's also a new basman, um, you know, silver face basman style amplifier, which can be used on guitar to great effect too. I played one in real life. They're amazing. Two new reverbs. Um, yeah, loads of great stuff. The clean channel from the PV Invective. So let's get stuck in. Okay, while I wait for this to actually update, uh, it's currently rebuilding my presets. Uh, we've got the original amp update. 10 new amps, 9 new caps, 5 new effects, new features, bug fixes, strongly recommended for all users. So first of all, we've got our new amps. We've got the Line 6 Clarity, and also there's a boost which is assigned to each of them. A clean style amplifier, kind of fendery. I really, this was my favourite aspect of the Catalyst. We've got the Line 6 Aristocrat, which is sort of, I think, quite similar to the Litigator. So, you know, clearly here, sort of dumbly style aesthetics we've got the line six carry on i don't know anyway sort of like um voxy those types of tones voxy match the see the line six voltage um and the line six kinetic uh, i think one of these is based on um ben adrian's cartographer and then the other one is something else and then we've got the line six oblivion which is somewhat based on the badonk now, here's a, a really important one, the Brit 2203, based on the JCM 800-2203 stock. Kind of important there to say that that's basically uh, an unmolested Marshall circuit because the previous JCM 800 in there, um, the bright caps have been removed and the way that Line 6 model their amps is kind of based on what the real thing in front of them is like. Uh, so that's the reason that was like that. PV Vitriol Clean. Oh, what am I clicking here? Um, and here, the US Dripman Norm, based on the Fender Bassman Silver Face. Uh, this can be used for both guitars and basses. I think there's obviously quite a bunch of people who use Bassman on guitar, even though it has bass in the name. Uh, then the Orange AD200. 
We've got new cabs, the Supro, Tweed, Fullerton, Cali 4, uh, the Route 1, High Watt, um, the Marshall Greenbacks, the Basement. So here's another option for some Stevie Ray Vaughan type tones with a 2x15 cab and 6x10 Cali Power. Uh, now, new effects, we've got this, the Nobles ODR. We've got a Regal Bass DI. Also, uh, worth reading some of this stuff. So uh, we'll go into this. I'm going to do videos on some of these individually anyway. Spectrum, when turned down, mids are accentuated. When turned up, lows and highs are accentuated. So a bit more scoopy. Something like a scoop control. Awesome. And a bass cut, like on the newer examples. And then a voltage control. Regal Bass DI for bass players. Um, and then here, the feedbacker, the, this is like a Digitech freakout, but probably with quite a lot more controls. I'm going to have to do a, a, an individual video on that, but it does definitely work. Um, best practice here, set the stomp switch to momentary. I'll show you how to do that, because uh, otherwise it's a bit of a, as an always on effect, not particularly effective, but um, definitely effective for like in ear gigs and stuff. We've got two new reverbs, the Dynamic Bloom and Non-Linear. So I'm going to check those out individually as well. And then the Cab Delay Auto Value. So that's about what we've got included here. So just as an overview. So I think the highlights for me are going to be that new Marshall, the new Baseman, the Nobels and the Feedbacker. And I think probably, oh, maybe it's all a highlight. You can't highlight everything, can you? The non-linear reverb I'm really interested to try and the dynamic bloom course is just a, an additional thing to check out. Here we go then. Let's just start with, with the Feedbacker. So let's just uh, insert this here. It's in the dynamics here. I think it's gonna need a fair amount of DSP. So you might need to rejig around your presets to, to get this to work for yourself. Um, but basically you want to assign it to a switch. So I'm just leaning down and doing that now. And you want the switch set to momentary. So if I go here, uh, feedbacker, bypass, controller assign, set it to momentary so that when you press the switch, it's on. And when you let it go, it kind of fades away. Now, within the actual settings here, we have, you can see a few options. So I might just go with octave for now. Fifth, for example. You can hear the effect very obviously. It's clean. Um, I think where it's gonna be most useful might be like a rhythm tone. So, without the feedbacker. Um, so it, it sounds pretty good stock to me. Um, I think it depends if you're gonna kind of switch out of the note is where I think it starts to sound a bit. So if I'm going to want to kind of do that, that's what I'm playing. I think it can sound a little bit artificial when you do that sort of thing. So I might have a quicker release. So that's that. Um, I think that could be a really useful thing for you know, these heavier kind of gigs where we might want that sort of thing happening. Um, it's maybe not, yeah, not an always on type situation, but for certain things. Uh, right, let's just jump in and I'm gonna now create a preset um, with some of the newer bits and pieces. So let's start off with a four by 12 greenback. We'll go with this and uh, I'll change it to the 67 condenser. 
And so I think probably the most important amp that we've now got added is going to be Brit 2203, which might now be a, an absolute go-to for because we've got these bright caps in those kind of cleaner martial tones are going to probably be a bit more pleasant uh, let's have a look at what we've got here. I'm going to try the non-linear. So, a really interesting set of effects here. Let's whack this diffusion up. could be really useful with another reverb if you stacked one in but we've got different shape linear logarithmic inverse log So, for me, I think where it was starting, that logarithmic. Pretty cool. Um, what I might do would be probably to pair that with something else, right? Like a stereo plate. down a little bit lower uh, for a bit more of a subtle effect but kind of like a reverse okay and then we could also probably I'm going to be guessing that that's going to take up quite a lot of DSP so maybe I'll change it over for the glitz um, and then I can probably hopefully still use our prize drive nope I cannot so we're going to get rid of uh, well I guess I could just move this down here and make it into a full helix preset and then we won't have to worry about it will we Distortion, prize drive. I think 
in Nashville and by folks like Tom Bukovac, this is kind of considered to be like a fixed tube screamer in a way. Certainly works really nicely with humbuckers and doesn't have too much honk. <laughs> amp settings that I'm using at the moment um, and let's use that as an opportunity I guess to load in where are you so we've got some of the new ones so I'm looking for clarity so that should be line six clarity shouldn't it down here or should we try the aristocrat so this is like another kind of option for a dumble <laughs> really nice uh, so let's just call this um, Marshall Noble Lynn oh, something like that will be fine won't it <laughs> actually so prize drive into the aristocrat <laughs> clarity of all of these individually um, we've also got the basement haven't we let me move this cab down to here and we may even be able to fit this on here amp I think it's going to be in the base section so you may not see it unless you're specifically looking for it <laughs> there for another thing to use uh, we've got the feedbacker here I'm not gonna be able to run that on that but uh, if I get rid of him and put that down there instead Yes, we can now run the feedbacker. So let's um, into the boutique. <laughs> Switch two. There we go. I can see it now. Great. Thank you. 
change the feedback gain to lower, what happens? A lot more subtle in that case. So I think, let me just change that release. That's one thing I think a bit of a shorter release time might benefit. <laughs> So I think that covers, you know, some of our options about what's now within the Helix. I think that feedback, uh, a welcome thing for some folks. I think that's a highlight for me, actually, the Aristocrat. That's sounding really good. Also, that prize drive sounding really good. Really nice chewy. <laughs> And that Marshall, of course, I'll do individual videos on a bunch of this stuff, but this is kind of just the overview of the things that I think are interesting about this update. I'll catch you in another video soon. Enjoy the update and let me know your favorite aspects in the comments below if you would be so kind. Cheers for now.